I'm gonna start out by tinting my lace. So I'm gonna take about a scoop of my bleach and I'm gonna take some of my 20 volume developer and mix it together. And this is all played by eye. Um, start with a little and um, you want it the consistency of like pancake batter, like cake batter, you want it thick so that it doesn't seep through the lace. So I'm just gonna mix it until I get that consistency. When some people put the bleach on their lace, they'll use like a knife to kind of smooth it out. I just kind of packed it with my little dye brush onto all of the lace on the frontal. Um, it's really up to you. I like to do the whole thing because I like to part mine in different sections so that it'll look more natural. Once you have the bleach um, mixture over all of the hair, you're gonna let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and then come back. And once it's been sitting, um, I'll check it to see if it's lifted how I like and I'm just gonna wash it off and be careful not to get it on the other side. And then what I'm just gonna do is to wash it like normal shampoo and condition it. And I'm using my Aussie conditioner. Um, and my shampoo and my silicone mix, but you can just literally use whatever you use for your natural hair or for any other wigs that you have. Now that the wig is washed, you can see um, it is pre-plucked, but I'm gonna go in and pluck it some more. I'm gonna pluck it on my wig stand, that way that I can kind of see um, what I'm doing without having to put it on my head yet, because it is still wet. So with plucking, it's all up to your preference, what looks natural on you. Some people pluck more than others. I only pluck um, kind of like a bare minimum, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna part um, from, the, from the top of the head and you're just gonna pluck. But be careful when you're plucking so that you don't pluck a hole in the lace. Some people can over pluck and they'll get little holes in their frontals, which can be fixed, but you prefer not to do it and then I'm just gonna comb out the hair as I go.
really cap over my hair and cover how old my ears are. Taking my top tail spray, I'm going to spray the perimeter of my head so that the wig cap will stay down. And I'm going to use a blow dryer to make it tacky. taking my wig scissors and cutting that excess lace. You wanna cut um, close to where it was glued. Um, be careful not to cut your ears or anything else. Um, and if there are some parts sticking out, you can either glue it or cut it. Um, it's just your preference. Now just so that the lace can look more realistic, I'm going to be taking some of my powder foundation and I'm going to be rubbing it on the frontal and I rub it on my wig cap as well just so that it can blend a little better even though you bleach the knots, sometimes the tint can be a little off so it makes it more realistic if it's your skin color. Now taking my got to be glue, I am going to put it around the perimeter of the wig cap and where I want my wig to lay. And just like with the spray, I'm going to be taking my um, hair dryer and I'm going to be drying it to its tacky clear state so that I can put the wig on. And with this, I like to do it in sections so that I don't have to worry about the whole head drying all at once and it over drying. I like to do it step by step to make sure that it's going to stick um, for longer wear usage. If you're just going to wear like a day or two, you can do the whole head at once, but I like to do it in sections so that just to make sure it all dries evenly.
Now I'm just gonna cut that excess lace off in the front and you wanna get it to as close as possible to the hairline of the wig. And if there's any excess on the bottom, you can cut it where the ear is so that it'll look more natural. It's okay to cut some of the hair. Um, and I like to do it in sections just to make sure. Now I'm gonna go in and put some baby hairs. I'm just gonna take a little bit from the perimeter and cut it with my razor and then swoop it. Again, baby hairs are up to you, it's your preference. Some people like more baby hair, some people like minimal baby hair, some people like no baby hairs. With curly hair, I like baby hair because it makes it look more natural. curls so first I'm just gonna take my as I am curl refreshing mix and I'm gonna spray it in the hair and I'm just gonna be using my spray bottle with the mix and then my spray bottle with water and um, my beeswax Murray's the curl enhancing smoothie in the hair and I'm just gonna rake it in there So now I 